Greetings everyone. If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering whenever you should use the the mod that is uh, by the developer supplied. Show chance to hit. Should you use it or not? Well, the, uh, the difference in a gameplay is like heaven and earth when you uh, use this or not. Suddenly all the modifiers that you would never knew how much percents, what is the penalty, what is the bonuses, uh, like various conditions in a combat, night, uh, storms, sandstorms, firestorms, rain, all sorts of perks, bonuses, debuffs. Uh, there's so many potential numbers to take in account, but without uh, this mod, of course, you just have to, you know, rely on... Uh, ability to aim and then you know just like trust me bro you don't even know what uh, actually stats are doing in the game too honestly like marksmanship uh, dexterity is important for accuracy right but what is the difference between 60 marksmanship versus 80 or 60 versus 85 or so forth like <laughs> there's no communication about that which is kind of wild uh, game uh, design choice for such a high quality tactics game and even if we quickly look at the grenades in like vanilla without the mod, yeah, there's mishap chance. It will actually say the words, like very low chance, low chance, average, very high. So there's definitely communication already there. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly surprised that uh, this could be honestly avoided if uh, the, they would, uh, instead of showing no numbers whatsoever, they would at least uh, tell me uh, how this, like, the accuracy changes like what is the approximate chance like is it the impossible chance is it like a very low may probable hit something you know I i'm pretty sure most viewers who are gonna click on this video they don't know this game called limbus company but there is this clashing system there and it will uh, tell you uh, in preview like how uh, the odds of ch winning you the clash whatever you're gonna win it most likely or uh, guarantee or you're gonna lose uh, guarantee the clash so basically communication with the uh, uh, calculation is already there right well um yeah and uh to answer the question whatever you should install or not there's one thing that kind of uh, i i personally don't like about this mod the, I, so when you install this mod you want to basically get all the accuracy stuff right but it does another feature which i don't know maybe somebody else will mod this mod and there's gonna be a different version of this mod so check out what this mod does so not only it uh, displays percents but it also displays the damage spoiler so when i'm playing the game for the first time and i'm seeing enemy for the first times I probably don't want to, you know, know how much they have total HP. So you can see just by the HP bar, yeah, at 14 damage, yeah, on this shot. So, well, based on this bar, yeah, it looks like it's like less than 20 HP on that goon, yeah. So uh, there we go. Uh, you you already figure out how much total HP is going to be on every single one of those goons. Yeah, it's early game enemy, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, if you're planning on some challenging run, Iron Man and what's not, uh, yeah, this kind of information is a bit, a uh, little bit spoilery. Uh, un unfortunately, I don't know why this even uh, packaged with this mod. I mean, you're installing the mod to show the chances of hits and penalties and basically everything that involves the road uh, accuracy, right? Uh, but, uh, well, there's that preview too. All right, so... Uh, on that note, I want to bring you uh, this image here on the screen that is a comment from the mod uh, by the developer. So why they... Uh, their stance, their like ideology essentially. So this game is balanced around no visible chance to hit. You may experience dramatic differences in balance when using this mode. Uh, having visible uh, chance to hit will affect the pace in which uh, you play each combat turn as Analysis tends to focus on numbers rather than tactical situation of the map. The game tends to feel a more moral puzzle rather than a real firefight. So again, ch check out what is the motivation and, uh, you know, arguments of the developer here. And AI has been uh, through to consider players having less information and will not adapt to the chains in the visible um, chance to hit. Okay, so I can, you know, like debunk most of these uh, statements, but uh well uh, yeah 
I don't even know where to begin here. So they're basically trying to sell you this game as a real firefights, yeah? Okay, let's just be immediately real. I'm not even gonna bring up the video game argument, let's just bring something that breaks immersion completely off realism here in a firefight. In this game, you can... Uh, uh, let me show you actually even right now in this video. I'll disable this. Um, so this is my turn and uh, Barry, uh, like Barry's equipment, yeah? So he got like remote C4s. What can I do? Oh my god, I can sh teleport items with some kind of magic into my character who is sniping on a roof of the building here. Um, and <laughs> basically I'm just showing that you can teleport items in this game. So, and not to mention the inventory system is pretty uh, unfortunately made here, but this is discussion for another video or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> there's this in a game, so... Um, yeah, the... <laughs> Um, also, just a quick uh, realism check, you know, um, ex experienced mercenaries as this game, you know, is a setting. Experienced mercenaries know how to use their firearms and they will most certainly know their odds of hitting things to at least some a very high degree of information of the, the cells, whenever they're going to be able to make that hit or not, unless, you know, they're pissed drunk or something. So, yeah. Um, also, this game, yeah, so the the game, the, the turns are going to be more like a puzzle. Well, yeah, it's, it's being sold as a tactical game, of course, by the definition. Uh, like, uh, the tactics games tend to be uh, puzzle battles. And uh, I don't know the, the, what kind of developers pretending here to be not but some kind of epic AI here. No, the, this game doesn't have epic AI. In fact, it could be easily baited, manipulated. And uh, again, like, uh, for example, this... Uh, this location, this was the first fort in the game, yeah, where you fight a lot of enemies. I just <laughs> went uh, here in the back line with high cover wall, you know. You, you just effectively can just shoot once, uh, go in a hiding, aka stealth, crouch, lie down prone. Enemies will be just uh, completely wasting their turns, time, uh, AP, and uh, not even sometimes see where you are because you're using hidden mode. Again, you can exploit the, it, and by vanilla idea of, of the gameplay, so if you don't see any percents and all that, sure. Uh, again, you will most likely will be just forced to shoot at the torso, which is uh, the highest uh, usually possible part to hit, which does the least damage. And yeah, you'll be out of fear just trying to shoot torso because you don't know the chances or anything. And again, uh, funny enough, this game will just promote you to play with melee and uh, grenades, which is guaranteed damage pretty much. And close range, mid range, and grenades and melee is really strong in this game, just like Sniper. I already played deep enough to know that. So people being exploiting uh, melee uh, teams with on hard difficulties, such as and and the sniper teams too. So <laughs> melee is really strong, and yeah, you can miss melee hits too, which is kind of funny on its own. But uh, if you have a good characters with a spec on that, you will be fine. Uh, again, no problem, AI baiting and all that. So just this this whole thing with not showing you accuracy, it's just. Uh, it artificially accelerate. Uh, it artificially uh, makes uh, quite a bit of time waste for the players to figure out. Uh, like it will take hours and hours to probably learn uh, about average, just kind of like what you can expect from shot or not, and learn about these uh, potential modifiers too. And not to mention that people, if they don't install the mod, they most likely on the internet will be already like database of uh, all this data mined information and all sorts of uh, analytical videos about this too so uh, i don't know uh, <clears throat> um another thing here is the i've been looking at some of the developer blogs and uh, developer streams how they marketed the game and uh since i wanted to learn about their ideology yeah so I was surprised why they're so against this whole uh, av uh, showing you chances to hit. Yeah, apparently, uh, 
I don't know, the game is marketed clearly towards XCOM fans and there's a lot of inspiration t inside the game uh, as a Firaxis XCOM, I mean, not the old one. So uh, we have like, a, you know, enemy scrambling mechanic, you know, kind of like enemy pack opening when they, uh, <laughs> you know, real, very realistic thing when your turn gets interrupted or, you know, when you go to the... Imagine going uh, uh, in stealth point blank to enemies and then uh, instead of you just shooting them, uh, they, they, they magically start running away uh, for free. But I digress. So... Uh, there's this mechanic and, of course, a uh, panel of abilities and uh, various other systems is definitely heavily inspired by the modern Firaxis games. Sure, the, no problem with that. But the problem is that uh, uh, there's, like, some of the, you know, some of the clips and just, like, uh, tone of the voice of the developers, you can kind of, like, tell that they just, just, just kind of, like, low-key hate. Uh, or dislike uh, XCOM, uh, like, kind of like player base ideology or something. So they, they, you might as well just say that, you know, that please don't buy our game if you're like liking the Firaxis XCOMs too much, which is again a little bit weird. Uh, but uh, they, they're trying to really heavily to promote this whole uh, realism in the fight, yeah, which does not exist. Uh, they, they say that. Uh, you know, uh, this is not how, like, you know, XCOM players would play, you know, they would, uh, they would take these uh, low accuracy shots, <laughs> which is, uh, of course, not exactly true. The, the good luck trying to find a somebody who uh, would uh, not know about, you know, that 95% is, uh, you should not uh, shoot at everything be uh, below 100% because you, you don't waste precious your turn and not doing any damage and uh, exco moments happens, you know, 95, 99% ni misses, it happens. And you get a laugh about it, it's just, uh, it's just a funny moment. Uh, you you should just, you know, it's exco baby is the, you know, meme from the good old Solomon. But uh, here they want you to, uh, you know, take... They, they, they purposely want you to bait to uh, take these, for example, uh, here's my uh, sniper, which is a really good sniper. But here, so, like, if I take a not aimed uh, shot, so apparently I have 54 here had, but I would be... So if in the situation I had not enough AP to aim, yeah, I would uh, most likely just... Uh, because I would be scared to... Uh, uh, sh m miss and don't do any damage. I'll be pro probably forced to attack into torso, but uh, little do I know that I had pretty much guarantee hit in uh, legs, arms, and almost had to in this situation. Of course, it, the further in the game you'll get even better stats and like guarantees there. So again, um, yeah, and this is the one of the arguments. Let me bring you the page here. So. AI has been thrown the considered place having less information than adapt to the change in visibility. So <laughs> they're, they're openly saying that you should make mistakes to give uh, AI a handicap so that uh, the, our AI is so bad and it is actually kind of, you know, for the people who are more and less uh, average or above in those type of games, they will probably find this game to be really easily exploitable in terms of AI. Uh, but yeah, again, so because of this system of not able to see accuracy, you have to, on your own, on your own turn, on your own volition, uh, make mistakes because you mostly gotta not even take a shot or make a bad one and or sacrifice a guaranteed damage, really high damage, lethal damage maybe even, and because you were just, you know, scared to... To take that uh, because you had no idea and you're gonna hit like torso with armor by the way and yeah this is just uh feels unfortunate and uh yeah again uh in real life comparison yeah the realism here so uh t tell me any like real life tactician commander or these like military operations where the statistics and numbers is not a thing and not important. 
There, <laughs> it is literally the basics. You need to plan things. This is the concept of the uh, how uh, how great commanders and leaders uh, and tacticians are separated from the bad ones, and. Uh, uh, the same pearl goes to video games. Uh, I mean, I, I, again, I don't get why they're so against the uh, modern, you know, like, uh, gameplay, ex accepted uh, standard for gameplay here. And does it really help? I mean, a lot of people, like, you can read comments on uh, reviews, on uh, Steam forums, anywhere about the game. People are frustrated that they don't see those numbers, indeed. And for a good reason, uh, it's like, I would probably say personally that for me, uh, missing, like, I think developers think it's the opposite, but I would probably be more pissed when I know the chance, rather than, like, if I know that there's a head shot with uh, uh, 80% and I'll miss it, I'll be more frustrated with that, uh, rather than uh, I will... Uh, I will take some random, co well, I, I call it like a piss shot, essentially, just like, I don't know what, I will just use my AP and in hopes that it's gonna hit and, you know, like, ah, whatever. I will probably do it. And that's how I've been playing the game, too, for quite a bit uh, before the uh, install in this mod. So, you know, I was just, uh, you know, spend AP, bullet, and uh, uh, yeah, cool. It's not like a, there's a plenty of opportunities in these encounters where computer will not exactly engage into you so or, or again you can bait uh, this you can set up like mines explosives grenades machine guns effectively turrets uh, sniper positions melee is very strong again bunch of guaranteed damage again so the game is totally playable uh, if somebody thinks that this is like a, some kind of mess no it is uh, playable and very much enjoyable but it is a wild thing that um you know, it's shipped shipped like that. Again, there's a mod that, that, that it exists from developer. Fantastic. The choices is important. There's probably a lot of people who will consider playing this game. Um, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to remove this image. There's going to be probably people who will play this game several times. One with the out mod and then with. Uh, totally fair. Also, I um, no plan for that. Hmm... Again, personally, I wish that uh, the game would had like some kind of instead of actual numbers. Yeah, I would be totally fine if the game would say if it's impossible, like zero percent or very low, low, ne ne average, neutral, uh, high, very high guarantee, something like that. So some kind of communication with that because. Uh, I mean, if we're gonna go like this, uh, some kind of weird minority elitism uh root the game got all sorts of numbers and again uh, the, the 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 accuracy problem is based on uh, the range of weapons which by the way each uh, each weapon got its own range right so again it says 32 but you don't know like what is 32 actually uh, until you like i guess played a lot and then you without the mod you will not be able to really get the idea how much penalty or bonus you're gonna get from that range uh, it will just come from experience but uh, again you got all these numbers and you you you, you don't know we might, might as well just might as well just you know also hide it for some reason uh, because why not but yeah, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of arguments. I've been talking uh, with, uh, like I said, with fellow creators, uh, YouTubers and streamers who are kind of frustrated at uh, the, this decision, especially the, the ones who play on the hardest difficulty, they want to be challenged. So, And the people do really like their perfect information. This, this is like, I mean, I, I should have said it earlier, I think this is effectively uh, developers are taking out of the big quality of life from the game from the get-go yeah and it's not even i don't know like some kind of weird ideology where they think it's a real life uh, imitation of fighting here it's just uh taking away uh in insane high quality uh um quality of life uh, feature of the game and again 
Why the hell grenades got the, the mishap chance prediction uh, without the mod? Like a very low, that they should not say it then. There's, and there's like, yeah, I don't know. I would like to hear your thoughts and a comment about this. I could uh, probably continue uh, ranting about this uh, for extra 10 uh, minutes. It's already probably too much. Uh, but yeah, effectively, <laughs> when I started uh, the idea of this video, I just wanted to, to answer the question, should you install it or not? And uh, yeah, the, basically, if you install it, it is a definitely... Uh, you know, much more pleasant experience, especially if you're uh, kind of like a math guy, uh, calculation, perfect information type of uh, person, gamer. And uh, one thing you need to be aware of, that the game will spoil the damage, uh, total HP effectively. So again, this, considering you're going to be fighting uh, uh, you know, all sorts of various enemies and uh, kind of like, you know, uh, types of them, which will be always the same stats, always the same armor, so it's like the same build of the unit, yeah, outside of bosses. So once you, you immediately will mem memorize like how much damage you need and you can plan ahead too, this is, gives you definitely advantage. But uh, if somebody will eventually figure out how to way to disable that, maybe that would be cool too. But yeah, the game is just more f uh, fun when you see all these like surprisingly a lot of uh, penalties and bonuses that you, uh, you... You you also takes a lot of... Uh, so the game got a lot of leveling, you got perks, a trade system, and uh, there's a lot of like these... Mm, ac increased accuracy, increased accuracy, increased accuracy, but it, like... Uh, for example, I have the, uh, the, yes. the custom imp character, yeah? He got the night uh, vision perk, right? And so I assumed, uh, again, just a simple example. So, uh, one moment I'll open here. Reduces penalties to accuracy when a knight in underground sector. So we have a knight right now. And, well, how much it will reduce? I, ha I had no idea how much penalties in to begin with during night. Apparently it's 20% and then, well, from this position it's minus 7% now. And also, yes, this percent is uh, based uh, off um, range and proximity and whenever the target is lit or not. So, And this is just one modifier. There's so many other modifiers I could show you. Uh, if with various maps and conditions, it just will require quite a lot of editing to do that. All right, well... Um, <laughs> Uh, again, I would like to hear your thoughts. Uh, again, we should not be stuck in some kind of uh, 90s here where the game could just... Uh, the game could uh, not do things in engines that uh, can afford now. And uh, we're also, it's just uh, the market kind of like conditioned to specific things. Yeah, imagine, I don't know, imagine releasing the game without V-Sync, for example, or some simple feature as that. And that will be kind of crazy like that, right? Um, yeah, totally both ways, uh, the game is fun. Just uh, keep in mind that this mod exists if you actually had no idea about it. Well, to be fair, you can, since there's a day one mod support for the Jack the Lions 3, you can expect in the hopefully near future there's gonna be a lot of interesting mods. The game is not perfect by any means, there's definitely some uh, ways it could be improved and I uh, definitely think that the mods will go that way. And I'm looking at you um, uh, inventory screen there. <clears throat> so, um, I hope uh, my video was a little bit insightful, if anything. Uh, I know it's not uh, well edited, uh, it's just my literally one take video, my thoughts here. And again, I would like to hear your uh, opinion about this. And yeah, it's kind of wild that even in 90s, even in Jack the Lines itself, there were uh, percents and yeah. Well, again, uh, you can check out the developer uh, blogs, uh, these like live streams uh, where they were talking about development of the game. Some kind of 
some kind of anti Firaxis XCOM agenda or something. I don't know. Have a good one and enjoy the Jagged Lions 3. <laughs>